Mark Zuckerberg, Facebook founder and supervillain wannabe, has had more than his share of evil moments. In a short period of time, his origin story went from nerdy Harvard computer programmer to going full Joker complete with makeup. Why so serious? For this list, all things Top 5 ranks the Top 5 Most Evil Mark Zuckerberg Moments. Lucky for us, he's not that good at being a supervillain. <laughs> Number 5. Animal Sacrifice In 2011, Zuckerberg said in an interview to Fortune that the only meat he will be eating is from animals that he kills himself. In a private Facebook message to his 847 friends, like a Silicon Valley chupacabra, Zuck told them that he just killed a pig and a goat. In a dinner with Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey, Zuck continued his ritual for an animal sacrifice by promising to kill and cook the dinner himself. Dorsey was shocked to learn that his meal had been alive and frolicking in the yard just moments before. Zuck kept a stable of six goats on his property in case his bloodlust grew too strong. As reported in Rolling Stone, Dorsey said that Zuck killed a goat with a a laser and then a knife before sending it to the butcher. Unfortunately for the dinner guests, Zuck only knew how to kill and not how to cook a meal for humans. Zuck let the slaughtered goat sit in the oven for just a half an hour, figured it was ready, and proceeded to serve the partially cooked goat to his guests. Jack Dorsey recalled eating just a salad that night. Ah, f it, I don't care. Number 4. Not Quite Human Anyone who has seen Zuckerberg over the years has probably heard the jokes that he is really a robot. These jokes reached their peak during the Senate hearing where Zuck had to testify to Congress about Facebook's involvement in the Cambridge Analytica scandal. A scandal where Facebook sold the personal data of millions of users. My father tried to teach me human emotions. They are... difficult. During the hearing, Zuck would stare ahead blank face for extended periods of time, abruptly turn his smile without moving anything but his lips, and then immediately return to his factory default settings. There's a good chance the real Zuckerberg couldn't attend the hearing. Instead, Facebook sent his latest prototype, a high-functioning cybernetic organism of the real Zuck, where each movement seemed like it was controlled by the actual Zuck in some secret underground lair. While the hunk of metal and synthetic tissue gave all the answers we expected to receive, the Zuck T-800 model ended up looking a little artificial in the process. Number 3. Virtual Insanity In 2017, Zuckerberg donated $1.5 million to Puerto Rico after Hurricane Maria turned it into a post-apocalyptic hellscape. Zuck was eager to show off his new virtual reality platform called Facebook Spaces. So Zuck and social VR chief Rachel Franklin fired up the Oculus Rift to go wherever their imagination could take them. Did they go to Mars? Nope. Below the ocean? Under the sea. Under the sea. Nope again. They went to Hurricane Ravage Puerto Rico while looking like disembodied cartoon characters that somehow expressed more emotion than Zuck's actual human form. Virtual Zuck commented that it felt like they were really in Puerto Rico, minus the destruction and loss of human life, of course. Things started to get awkward when Virtual Zuck started treating the experience like he was in the Matrix, describing it as magical before doing a round of virtual high fives with Rachel Franklin. And then a wheel of laugh, high five. <laughs> After the engineers at Facebook rebooted the real Zuckerberg's operating system, Zuck realized he had made a mistake and apologized. Reading some of the comments, he wrote, I realize this wasn't clear, and I'm sorry to anyone this offended. So at least his passive-aggressive firmware is still intact. Perhaps you should deactivate your chip for now. Good idea, sir. Done. Number 2. Horrible Neighbor While Zuckerberg is not quite rich enough to buy the entire Pacific Ocean, he is rich enough to do the next best thing. Block all us peasants from so much as looking at the ocean. Mark Zuckerberg is Fidel Castro in flip-flops. The residents of Kilauea, Kauai has enjoyed the beautiful oceanic view of their local beaches for hundreds of years. That is, until Zuckerberg showed up and erected a six-foot Facebook wall that blocks that very view. Hey Dustin, show him the wall. I'm just calling it the wall. To further complicate the situation, it turns out that some of the residents were legally entitled to navigate the walled-off section. About eight acres of his 700-acre property are ancestral lands that have belonged to various families for centuries. Like an old man telling kids to get off his lawn, Zuck filed a series of lawsuits against several hundred people, some of whom were dead. 
Zuck eventually dropped the suit. Turns out that being a real-life Mr. Burns wasn't the best way to endear yourself to the local population. <laughs> Before we get to number 1, remember to subscribe to All Things Top 5 and ring the bell to be notified for our latest videos. Number 1. Face Smash Before there was Facebook, there was Face Smash. A website that allowed users to compare two randomly selected female students' hotness. Look at these girls. Right or left? After being jilted by a girl, Zuck started drinking and hacking the photos from the Harvard Student Directory in a rage against all womanhood. I made a perverted, sexist, useless thing. Zuck was disciplined for breaching security, violating copyrights, and violating individual privacy with a mere verbal warning. After he escaped with a slap on the wrist, he went back to his dorm, opened some champagne, and celebrated with his roommates like the douche we all know him to be. His reputation on campus as a renegade programmer was cemented. The thing is, comparing two random females wasn't his first idea for the site. He originally wanted female students to be compared against farm animals, but stopped because, as he wrote in his blog, you can't really be sure with farm animals. As cryptic as that sounds, we can only assume that Zuck finds some farm animals more attractive than women. Somebody's gonna have to answer for this. It is better to be accused of necrophilia. <laughs> it is better to be accused of necrophilia. Do you agree or disagree with our list? Is Mark Zuckerberg just bad at being a supervillain? Comment below and watch our other videos, and subscribe to All Things Top 5.